welcome back and thanks for being a part of my story. If you're new here, hi, I'm Paige. I make lifestyle videos. A lot of them are Weight Watchers related because I am doing the Weight Watchers program right now. And I also make some cooking, cleaning, DIY videos, some vlogs here and there, and beauty. So if you like that kind of content, don't be afraid to stick around and hit that subscribe button. So today is Wednesday, which means Weight Watcher Wednesday. If you're new here, Wednesdays are the days I typically post meal prep videos or anything related to Weight Watchers. And then on Fridays, I do kind of like vlog videos or makeup, anything kind of different from Weight Watchers. But occasionally, both days will be Weight Watchers. It just really depends. But in today's video, we are doing a meal prep, and I am going to be making blueberry pancake muffins and a chicken pot pie with two ingredient dough that I learned from Felicia from Felicia's Fitness Health on Instagram. And then here on YouTube, her name is Felicia Keith. Lee, I believe. I'll link it down below and put it in the little card up above here. Her videos are amazing. She has really, really tasty recipes and I just love watching her family vlogs and her health and fitness journey. So if you're interested in sticking around and seeing this meal prep, just go ahead and keep watching. So we are going to start with the pancake muffins. We are making blueberry pancake muffins this week. I already put two cups of the pancake mix into the bowl and then we're just going to add a cup and a half of water and mix that all together. Now that everything is mixed up, I'm going to take a cup of frozen blueberries I did warm them up in the microwave for about 30 seconds just so they could get a little bit unthawed. So I'm just going to pour that all in and mix it all together. Now I'm going to take a third measuring cup and just use this to scoop them into the muffin tins. And I did already set my oven to 350 degrees. So again, you're going to set that in a 350 degree oven for around 15 to 20 minutes. Just check on them after 15 minutes and see if they're cooked through because that is frozen blueberries. So it puts some water into the batter so it could take a little longer to cook. Okay, now we're going to make the dough for the bubble up chicken pot pie. So first I'm going to take half a cup of self-rising dough and after that you are going to take half a cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt. I just have the Meyer brand Greek yogurt and it is non-fat. So we're going to dump that in here and get a little spatula to help us out. And after you get this in here, you are going to just mix it together until it's kind of crumbly, and then you're going to knead it on the counter. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like all crumbly. I'm going to take just a little bit of flour, spread it out on your surface. Then you're going to dump this whole thing onto your counter. I'm going to clean this part off too. And then I always put some flour on my hands because it can get sticky. And then you're just going to knead everything together. Thank you. 
So this is what it's going to look like when you have it all kneaded together. So now we're just going to set that to the side and work on our mixture. And what you'll need is some fat-free mild cheddar cheese. I get mine from Walmart. Some veggies, and I'm going to add a little more peas into mine. A can of 98% fat-free cream of chicken. I'm going to put some garlic powder and some pepper into my mix. And then any kind of fully ch cooked chicken you can use. You can use whatever your heart desires. So now we're just going to mix this all up in a bowl. I'm probably going to put the rest of this cheese in there probably. So it's probably about a cup. So this is what the mixture looks like. I ended up using that whole bag of the Tyson oven roasted chicken breast and it smells amazing already and it's not even cooked. I have my baking sheet right here and the first thing I'm going to do is spray it just to be safe so nothing sticks to it. And now we are going to pour the mixture. So this is what it looks like all spread out. Now what you're going to do is take your ball of dough and you're just going to break it into sections and just pull it apart and try to place it evenly throughout the dish. So I'm going to do that right now. So this is what it's going to look like before you put it in the oven. And you are going to put it in the oven at 350 just like the muffins you baked before except these are going to go in for 25 minutes. Check your dough around 20 minutes is what Felicia said when I watched her video and then cook it more if it needs to. So around 20 to 25 minutes is your cook time. So I just pulled this out of the oven. It did take the 25 minutes but it looks amazing. It smells delicious. I'm actually going to try this for lunch because if you know my videos, I always end up trying the meal prep I'm making for lunch because it just always smells so good. So I'm going to divide this up. I'm going to try to get five servings out of it, which I'm fairly certain, <laughs> certain I can. So I'm going to divide that up and then I will show you guys the points and everything for how Okay, so I was going to divide this up, but then I remembered I have a lid for this, so I'm just going to keep it in this container, and I divided it. It ended up dividing into eight sections. That made each serving only two points. Amazing. <laughs> and then over to the muffins. These are also only two points a piece. Now, I do want to warn you, I did not put any sugar in these at all, so these are unsweetened blueberries and then just the pancake mix, so there might be a little bit of sugar in that mix, but I don't sweeten mine. You could sweeten your blueberries before you put them in by pouring some stevia or something over them, but I think it's fine, and if I want to add a little bit of sweetness, I'll just put some reduced sugar um, syrup on the top. So that is meal prep this week. Super easy, super delicious, and low point. So that's this week's meal prep, you guys. It was super tasty. Again, those blueberry muffins are not super sweet. I'm okay with it, but you might not be. So again, you can either sweeten up your blueberries or just add syrup on the top like I do. And the pot pie is 
amazing. It's so delicious. You need to try it if you haven't yet. Along with that two ingredient dough, you can make so many things out of that and it's super Weight Watcher friendly. So I hope you guys like this. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And also hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I upload on Wednesdays and Fridays. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.